And South Carolina lawmakers are reacting to the situation in Israel today as well. News 2's Hannah Powers in the studio now with more details. That's right. Leaders all across the U.S., including here in South Carolina, are quick to comment on the situation in Israel, and all of them unified in pledging support to the country and condemning the destruction that is happening right now. Here's some more video of the conflict. The past 48 hours, a now war-torn Israel, with a death toll climbing by the hundreds. Over the weekend on NBC's Meet the Press, former South Carolina governor and now presidential hopeful Nikki Haley saying she is concerned about potential attacks on our soil after watching this unfold. I have been terribly worried about the fact that Iran has said the easiest way to get into America is through the southern border. We have an open border. People are coming through. They're not being vetted. We don't need to wait for another 9-11. You also look at the fact that, Kristen, America is incredibly distracted and incredibly divided. And when America is distracted, the world is less safe. And look at what happened to Israel. They waited for them to be distracted. And that's when your enemies move in. Mm -hmm. America needs to wake up. As the world reacts to the shocking video, news of mass hostage taking and brutal attacks, U.S. Senator and presidential hopeful Tim Scott answering some questions about the conflict in Israel during a campaign stop in the upstate today. He says times like this are when we need strong leadership. Scott says thanks to years of American support for Israel, they should have the resources as a country to take on Hamas. The evil that we're seeing brought, among, brought to the people of Israel has to have a swift, clear, decisive response. We've seen very quickly uh, Netanyahu's response is to have a complete and total, basically stopping resources from, from coming into Hamas. I think that's the first step. This is going to be a long process without any question. We should make sure that there is no daylight whatsoever between the United States of America and Israel. And NBC News reports that already more than 1,000 people have been killed in the massacre. And U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham says he is coordinating with Israeli ambassadors today, drawing parallels between what happened over the weekend and 9-11. Graham says an aid package will be going to Israel from the U.S. Senate quickly, but the support won't just stop there. Bottom line, folks, this is the biggest event uh, since 1973, the Yom Kippur War where Israel was attacked by multiple Arab countries uh, during that Jewish holiday. This attack is more brutal. They came into Israel by land, sea, and air. They slaughtered innocent Israelis. They have raped and tortured their ISIS-like in every way. We will have more information on the responses from our state lawmakers posted on our website. That's countonto.com.